Hi again. Um, this is Shelby reads her Harry Potter fan fiction from when she was 12. Longest title ever, but um, yeah, that's a thing. So um, where we left off was uh, Valdira, the daughter of Voldemort, was getting ready to go to Hogwarts. Chapter 2, Departure. Good morning, Miss Valdira, informed the... Oh, good morning, Miss Valdira! Welcome the new house elf, Cleffy. Cleffa is a Pokemon. Clefki is also a Pokemon. I had something going there. Anyway. Here is your breakfast! Thanks. Where, where are... I said where is. Um, where are Uncle Lucius and Aunt Narcissa? They are in the basement. They do not want to be disturbed. Master... I said they, but it really would be like, Master and Mistress, um, are discussing something with your dear mother. My mother is here, said Valdira, almost choking on her, uh, breakfast. Um... Yes, they wanted to, they wanted to say goodbye to you. Really? That is different. She wrote before... To, she always wrote before to say goodbye. Well, she is escorting Master Draco to your father. He is meeting him personally today. Well, I hope he has a great time, said Balzac sarcastically. Do you want to go with him? No, never, said Val almost too loudly. At that moment, her aunt and uncle and mother came out of the basement. Hello, Valdira. Did you sleep well? asked Bellatrix. Yes. Very well, lied Valdira. I have something for you from your father. I don't want it. I think you might this time, said Lucius. He never liked how Valdira thought of her parents. Well, well, he sends you two things, Bellatrix. Well, he sends you two things. Bellatrix took out a long mahogany carved box and a box covered with a green and silver sheet. Open the wooden box first. Valdira took out the box and lifted the lid. There was a wand. I already have a wand. I got one from Canada. Well, we don't, well, we don't approve of it, said Aunt Sissy, and took Val's old rod, old rod, wow, old wand, and threw it in the cooking fire. Now you have no choice. The room bursted into laughter. Val silently cried. She, she'd learned not to disagree with her family, especially her father. This wand was your father's... This wand was your father's substitute wand if he ever lost the one he had. Thanks, said Valdira, still shaken at losing her old wand. She loved that wand. Fourteen inches, maple, unicorn hair. She bought it herself. Your father designed your new wand himself. It's the same as his wand. But before you leave, here is your next gift, said Bellatrix. She lifted the sheet. It was Nagini. Nagini? Nagini. Nagini? Nagini. It was, it was Nagini, her father's snake. Nagini? Why her? wondered Valdira. To keep you in line so you don't make mistakes. Okay. Valdira hated Nagini. She always... She has always been scared of her. But I must go. Can't linger too long ever, said Bellatrix. Goodbye, Val. Have a good term. Drink out! Hurry! We're leaving now! It's in all caps. <laughs> He's already... He's already outside, Miss Bellatrix! Answered Cleffy. Goodbye, sissy. Bye, Bella. Take care of him. I will. Don't worry. Will you come, Lucius? Asked Bellatrix. I will if you think it is best. Yes, I do. Goodbye, Valdira. Goodbye, mother. Her mother and her gave a very awkward hug. Her mother and uncle left. Well, I guess I will take you to the station. That's okay. I'll just apparate myself. Do they apparate in Canada? Well, it's such a huge country. They teach it in year one. All right. Goodbye, then. And she left the room. I love my logic there. I think that's brilliant. Um, Bye, Cleffy. I think I'll miss you most, said Val, kneeling down to hug her little friend. Bye-bye, Miss Val. It's, it's never the same after you 
leave, dear? Um, sorry, some of these pages are out of order because I was reading it earlier. Um, send me letters how things are going. I will, dear, answered Cluffy. Valdira went upstairs, grabbed her trunk, and Nagini, Nagini, sorry, I wrote Nagini, um, which is wrong, then decided to let go. Maybe she'll die. So she just leaves the snake in the house and then apparates. She leaves her in her room. Cluffy wasn't allowed in her room. Her family never went in there. She twisted her foot and apparated to the train station. So that was, um, it was Valdira leaving and her goodbye with her family. And um, soon we get to see her go on to the Hogwarts Express. Oh. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Thanks for what, listening, watching, whatever. Uh, chapter two of Dark Angel, a fan fiction I wrote when I was 12. Um, so thank you so much, and tune in soon for chapter three. <laughs> Bye!